Lesson 6.5. Properties of logarithms. Our essential question. How do you use properties of logs to evaluate, expand, and condense? Standard 6.5 number 3. Condensing a logarithmic expression. And we're being asked to condense these problems. We have four we're going to do together and the rest are for you for independent practice. So first I see that there is a 3 in front of this log. I know that if there's a 3 in front of the log, I know that this 3 was an exponent. So I'm going to rewrite this 3 as the exponent. So now that the 3 is the exponent, I see that these two are being added to each other. If you're being added, that meant that they were originally multiplied together. So we're going to condense the log and we're going to multiply these together. I now see that these two logs are being subtracted. If you are subtracted, that meant you were originally division. So we're going to condense the logs and we are going to divide. And now I want to see if I can simplify this. So I have log of 9 times 2 to the third power is 8. So 9 times 8 is 72. I have 72 divided by 3. 72 divided by 3 is 24. So this is log of 24. Let's go ahead and condense this problem. I see that I have a subtraction. Subtracted when you condense it was division. So this is log of x divided by 9. There's nothing else to condense, so this is my answer. Next one, I see the 4 in front of the log. That meant this was an exponent, so we're going to rewrite it as an exponent. Now I want to simplify what is 3 to the 4th power. That is 81, so we're going to rewrite this as log 6 plus log 81 minus log 3. I see these being added together, so if we condense these, adding goes to multiply. So this is log of 6 times 81 minus log of 3. What is 6 times 81? 6 times 81 is 486, so this is log of 486 minus log 3. If we're condensing a subtracted same base logs, that meant they were dividing. So this is log of 486 divided by 3. 486 divided by 3 does simplify, so this is actually log of 162. Let's do our last one. I see the 3 in front of the natural log. This is supposed to be an exponent, so let's go ahead and make it an exponent. So I have natural log of 4 plus natural log of 3 to the third power minus natural log of 12. What is 3 to the third power? That's 27. So natural log of 4 plus natural log of 27 minus natural log of 12. I see these two natural logs being added. So if we condense it, that means that we were multiplying. So this is 4 times 27. What is 4 times 27? That's 108, so this is a natural log of 108 minus natural log of 12. Now I see two natural logs subtracted. That means that we were division. So natural log of 108 divided by 12. Can you simplify 108 over 12? You can. So this is a natural log of 9. There are five problems left on the page. Please do these five problems for independent practice.